<laughs> in this episode, I will show you how to put triage in your favorite games in this emulator regime. As you may notice, you can download the triage that I have a, a, a link below and extract them in your disk. Don't try to use a removable drive because it will be very, very slow. And after open this door folder and go to titles. And you can find the cheers when you put the title, like the example I'm showing you there from this uh, emulator. For privacy reasons and you know to, to avoid copyright and claim, I don't show the pictures here, I have the player, but you understand the illustration of this video. Once you find the cheers, the problem that you have two folders inside. So you have to see, depends which version. So you have to extract data, this FS, and this will show, I will show you exactly where the correct file of this. So once you extract, make sure that you go to that folder, you open with a hex editor. Usually, uh, if you don't have one, I will recommend this uh, in hex edit, as you can see here. And if you don't, uh, the first time you have to go to program files, in hex editor, and find the folder there, as you can see. But I will show you how to download from the Microsoft Store. It will be free. You don't need to uh, pay for this. It's a free editor, and it's very it, for me, it's very handy. I don't need you. Don't need to download any other one. This is very easy. And just click here, install, buddy, and you see, you be installed. Now, of course, also, once you open the hex editor, you see the address I'm highlighting here. But fortunately, it's not the same, and the reason because I have to update the game. If you don't know how to update, you can see here in the on the on the right side how to update, and you need to find and you need to include all the DLC updates and the and everything else. So here I will show him that I have put uh, uh, these updates. I have done ex extract the. FS and here I'm sure the drawers that is really the same. So put a note that is on 040. After you copy that select or you can and you open the modes directory. So you go to the game, right click and open the modes directory. As you can see what I have done, I have copied the folder, right? The cheers, it shows here what cheers are enabled in this, because I have already done this. And you can see that there are two cheers inside, but you need only one. Just copy the folder and just keep only one cheer. Now, we can do this for another game. Another example that I have, I don't have the cheat set. We're gonna select, for example, uh, something else. Maybe I will go with this Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We're gonna do the same process. We will go to, we're gonna search the title. So I'm gonna put here the digits, the zero one, something. So we're gonna copy these files and we're gonna put this on the mods directory of the Mario Kart. And we're gonna do see this manage cheat menu. In this menu you can see both of the versions are loaded here, but effectively we just need only one because they're different memories for each version, so it wouldn't work with a different version of cheat uh, for a different uh, game. So again, we do the same. We have to extract these uh, details and go into the folder, use the hex editor. 
and we can see we have a match. It's match with the second file. So only this chair will be needed. The other one can be deleted. Right, you can go here. When you manage the chair, you can see only the second one. So this you don't it wouldn't affect. It can keep but you shouldn't be activated. So you can see which chair is best for you. I cannot recommend anything at this point. So thank you for watching this video. Please comment if you find this useful. Uh, is, you will see that not all the chair will work. Sometimes your game will crash, or you know you shouldn't use that chair. So play around with this what works and.